Hello, welcome back to Ritz Kicks. Uh, just a bit of a quick apology. Um, this video probably should have been out yesterday, but it's been a busy fortnight for me with work and other bits. So um, I'm quickly doing this today, which is uh, Monday. Um, I haven't really got a lot done, to be honest with you, but it is what it is. You're busy, you're busy, you can't really... Uh, much about it so um as you can see i'm starting the uh tracks um i'll show you how those bits go together in a minute quite unique but a little bit of heading a little bit time consuming uh i've got the olive green down on the lower hole um i still got to clean the treads up put a bit more around the uh Certain bits and pieces on here. All fully working suspension. Um, need for it? I don't really have a need for it, but it is. It is what it is. Uh, hasn't come out too bad. Uh, I've ordered and got in not too long ago from Red Dog um, some uh, accessories for. Tank, they're in resin. Um, literally an hour ago, came through the post. Uh, crates, tires, wheels, bags. Uh, this is going to be a first for me. Never done anything like that. Uh, something else I want to show you. In the kit, I was in the kit. This little, this little uh, strange-looking piece of. Uh, plastic that is a mold that mold is for get on there that's for your light guards on the front helps you get a rather decent mold instead of those horrible excuses for a pointed version that sometimes you get so we've got another one of those to do uh, it's there, there on the fret, but there's also smaller bits and pieces. And I noticed on the actual uh, sprue, there is another one here, smaller. I'm wondering if that's rear lights or something like that i'm not sure um we'll get to that when i get to it in the in the uh instructions if it's basically on a sherman or a firefly sherman <coughs> excuse me uh, so we're slowly progressing with the top hole i don't want to say it because uh, they are nice kids some some little bits are just a little bit unnecessary, I think, in in the way they produce some of these kits. It's nice having a parts count, but some bits can be moulded to other bits without the necessity of. That's my this is my opinion of having to uh, strain your eyes while you're trying to put something that's about half a millimetre big onto. Something else. I'm gonna add all this cast textures. It's uh, quite it's all over the kit. No, uh, you can't see it. Camera that way. There's a cast number across the front there. But yeah, that's where we're going with that. So far, got all the deck to deal with, you know, like I said, got all these bits and stuff going on the front of here. And I'll quickly show you what goes on the tracks. Fully working, fully flexible tracks, 83 pieces, I think, per side. It was those, 
or in my stash I had a set of the Firefly tracks in metal, obviously. Cast. Now I would have preferred to use these myself. But you've got to do a separate separate set of links for going round the road wheel. The, the sprockets. The idler and the sprockets. Seems weird because if there was any sort of movement, it's not going to, well, it wouldn't roll really, would it? Thinking about it, dummy. Okay, right, let's go back to doing these tracks, right. So what you do is you get, get the plane side track, which is the inside of the track. See that. He's fiddly. You're laying them on. <coughs> See? It'll drop in. As you probably already have this kit or had this kit or understand this, know this. It's about three years old. So I'm stuck in there. And you take this piece and slide that over the top into the two holes right so that that is holding those pieces in place now you get cracking and they sit they sit focus for once in your Damn. There you go. Mm, you did. Right, there. You must have one overhang each end. Right, just hold it casually or lightly. And then you've got this other piece with two pegs on the side. It goes this way up, pegs to the bottom. See the holes, they go over the track, link, end. Okay. So, press it. Right. Can't see, there are the track, link, ends, pins around on the inside. Do the other side exactly the same. Making sure you've got the overhang, one over each end, the other second one of these, slide out over the end, that's it's all locked in place, now remove the centre section, that leaves you Like so, either two singles overhang either end. Now, what you want to do is you want to put a bit of CA glue on the knob, right, knob jewel, right in the middle there, right? Because then this piece out a track will then sit nicely there and be glued and you won't lock you won't lock out those pins with uh, glue you use something like uh, extra thin let me just show you a couple 
right so that's that's what it'll end up looking like then what you do is you once they're all glued and dried you release the pins release those pins on the inside take the sides off and you've got a seven piece piece of track and then you have to do the fiddly bit which is the opposite way round of locking the top on the bottom and you're joining like so okay so you will go the opposite way around the piece of track that um links onto that side then you do the opposite put a double of ca glue in the hole and then attach the inside and that will that will link the two so that's the tracks a little bit it's a, it is a little bit fiddly um you're getting a nice set of flexible plastic tracks no weight in them at all which you would get if you use the real track system um i might yet still use that i don't know i will see how far i go with these uh tracks so And another thing with that, I don't want to bring that into if you do not break any of these off, drop them. Don't lose any of these. Because you do not get exact two two extra two of these. Two of these, none of these. They are loose like that one is down there. Don't lose it. Otherwise, you're going to have to find another set of tracks. There isn't enough of those. Delete the tracks. Right, anyway, that's it. Uh, I have, yeah, let's say that's it. I have got a barrel coming from Poland. A metal barrel. Metal barrel. Just thought of, that might look a little bit better than the uh, the kit barrel, even though the kit barrel is one piece. Uh, I've got a metal barrel specifically for this kit coming. So, sorry in the delay for your update. Uh, I hope to be a, a little further along than I am, but unfortunate events of being very busy at work and other bits and pieces that I've had to do over the weekend, uh, the past couple of weekends, a bit of extra overtime and stuff like that, hasn't, I haven't been able to do anything, so this was just to sit down and show you where I am quickly, and, uh, and that is it. So, thank you to my new subscribers coming on board i really appreciate you joining and welcome to the uh, rick's kits uh, my old subscribers i absolutely love you guys dearly thank you so much for uh, staying uh hopefully we'll have a bit more of an update and a bit more done by the time this weekend comes around i'll see you in the next one take care guys bye for now